Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions slash weekend update video because this was definitely supposed to be a War of the Visions news video. That's what I expected when I woke up today, booted up the game, and there's no notices in there. So we're just going to do a weekend update video. This is something I needed to probably make yesterday because I have a lot of news to talk about with this channel and some real life news as well. Lots going on over here, but I want to mention a couple things first. Number one, if you're seeing this and it's still Sunday, go into your guild chamber, go into the professional level and background farm this thing. We have four times drops going on today. I know we just had like a whole week of double or triple drops in guild chamber unlimited, but four X drops in the guild chamber, very, very worth farming. So make sure you're taking advantage of that today. Hopefully you also you know, remember to take advantage of that yesterday. So while that's going on, I want to talk a little bit more about the plans going forward with this channel and covering gotcha games. I've really had an itch to get back into Honkai Star Rail. I've been talking to some other people who are playing and they're like, yes, you got to come back. I saw some news released for the game yesterday on Twitter without, or excuse me, on X because it's not Twitter anymore. It's X. Although I still type Twitter, whenever I go to Twitter, whenever I go to X, I still type Twitter in the browser every single time. That is just, uh, I don't know that I'll ever type X dot. That's just, I don't know. Something that, the renaming of that website just sucks and I'll never change on that. Anyhow, I was on X and I saw that some Honkai Star Rail news was dropping and they're adding some interesting quality of life updates to the game. That is, I think I'm just going to do it. I think I'm going to restart an account or at least play the one that I played for 20 minutes the other day when I tried to restart. I don't like that I can't skip the cutscenes, but I don't think that's ever going to change. I just want to re-experience the game and experience the content I haven't experienced yet with a new main cast of characters. So I don't want to pull... Um, you know, I just don't want to play any of the characters I played before. I want to play the game with new people. So I'm going to try that out. So look forward to those videos coming out on this channel when I get a minute. Now, I want to show you something else. Behind me, you might notice this new, we started to decorate a little bit more here. I pulled the Dr. Diggs. I pulled the Diggs, went ahead and framed up that War of the Visions jacket that like he has, I have. Very few people have this thing. And, you know, since I've been the official caster for the War of the Visions PVP, I kind of wanted something to commemorate that for me. Me. And it might not seem like a big deal to everybody, but being the only person who is the, um, you know, that doesn't work for the company anyway, that was brought on to do the like official esports of War of the Visions, that is kind of a special thing to me. And so I just wanted to always remember that. And I thought that framing the jacket up, hanging it on the wall would be just a way of me remembering that this is something I did, something I'm proud of. And so there it is. I pull the digs, I frame the jacket, it's on the wall, and that's the world we live in right there. Okay, so we're back to this background farming thing. It's done. I wanna talk a little bit more about some real life stuff for me because tomorrow, Monday, my wife is having a baby. I mentioned this on a video the other day and people were like, oh, congrats, baby Jay's finally getting a brother or sister. No, 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 no. It is not our baby here. Why am I even, uh, let's, let's go to this screen here. Let's show off that jacket, I guess. This is not our baby. It's not my baby and it's not her baby. And when I say that, it confuses a lot of people. This baby is going, it's a surrogate pregnancy and it's for our friends from Miami. So they are flying up here today. Well, they'll actually be here today. And then tomorrow we go in and this baby will be brought into the world. Now it's looking like the baby is going to be delivered via like a C-section. So I took the next week off of teaching. I won't be going to school next week and my schedule could be a little bit weird. We have a two-year-old and if you are a woman who's ever had a C-section or somebody who's ever known someone who's had any sort of surgery in their abdomen where you're all stitched up down there, it is very, very painful. It's very hard to deal with and you are very limited in what you can lift. Also, if you're somebody who's ever raised a two-year-old boy, they tend to zoom everywhere, jump on everything, including you. And so she's just going to need some help taking care of him at home this week. She's, I, I basically don't feel like I, it, it would be a bad idea to leave those two together. There could be, uh, you know, stitches breaking, things like that. And he's going to have a hard time understanding why like mommy can't pick him up anymore. So I'm going to be homeless next week. Doesn't mean I'll be like streaming a lot or anything. In fact, I probably will stream less this week because I'll just have to do all the stuff around the house that weighs more than a gallon of milk, which turns out to be most things that are 
yeah, most things weigh more than a gallon of milk. The very little things weigh just a couple of pounds that require serious doing of them. So I'll be at home next week doing all that stuff and just hanging out. So um, I'm looking forward to that experience. It's been a while since I've taken any time off of school or any significant time off. And then after that, we have Thanksgiving break coming and we're hosting Thanksgiving in our new house. I imagine that's about the time we'll be ready to do the house tour video, which I've been promising for a while, but you could see still this wall here is very blank and I don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking about maybe putting some soundproofing panels there, but baby J loves to stand on the arm of this couch and just jump onto the couch. So I don't want to put anything like shelves there where he's going to jump and smack his head and knock all my like figurines and stuff over. So I just need to figure it out. Making your office look cool while also uh, two-year-old proofing it is turns out to be quite a thing to do. Okay, so that's sort of what's going on with me. That's what's going on with my channel. I'm really looking forward to getting back into Honkai Star Rail again. I will probably try and mix that in when I can. I'm not sure what kind of content that means, but it will mean some content. And I really, like, let me know if there are characters you think I should try. I still want to play Himiko. I'm still upset that I never got to play her in either of my first two accounts that I made. Is she worse than she was before? Or is there finally like some kind of fire team I could build around her where she could actually do good things for me? I don't know. Please let me know in the comment section. And then, uh, yeah, looking forward to making some more stuff for that game. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.